Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry I missed Flippin' Friday last week. We had a lot of stuff going on. I've got a big haul here to show you with lots of great things, so stick around to see what I got. Hey guys, my name is Heather. If you are new to this channel, thank you for checking me out. If you are a previous subscriber, thanks for coming back. I am a homeschool mom of two kids, Grace and Ryan. I'm a volleyball coach, I'm a volleyball player, and I love Disney. So like I said in the intro, I usually do a flipping Friday, what sold every Friday, but this past week, I guess I should say last week, because now Tuesday, we had new carpet installed in two bedrooms and I had to repaint one bedroom. It was a huge process and I just didn't have time to film a video and put all of that together. So I'll put it in a little kind of video clip here or something and kind of show you our new carpet in the basement, which is nice because that's my work area. What we're actually doing is preparing to sell our house. So it looks a lot better. If you remember and you've watched any of my previous videos, the old basement carpet was super ugly. It was like from the 90s, possibly late 80s. It was bad. So thankfully we got all of that replaced and I got, I ended up just getting shelves for all of my bins. I only had like one or two shelves before this. And so I would have three or four bins stacked up and if something sold in the bottom one, I'd have to take them all off. It was a huge pain. I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna spend a little bit of money, get shelves for everything. And so everything is like organized super good now so that really feels good and i think that'll be good when we move just to move everything and just have everything like ready to go so i'm gonna go through what i picked up i went thrifting yesterday i didn't thrift like at all last week i don't think which was really hard for me but i was just so busy i didn't hardly have the time so yesterday i went to one goodwill i think and maybe a salvation army nope i didn't go just one goodwill and actually it was a thrift world and then today i went to one goodwill and a consignment store so this is three stores and i got some good stuff so let's just get into it if you do see anything you're interested in please let me know you can dm me on instagram or email me that's the easiest way and we can work out a good deal um oh, i feel so hot we were at the pool this afternoon i was like you know what we got to start off our june with a pool day it was so fun okay so here's what i got first these are crocs these are size nine they're like a gold, um, rubbery, strappy sandal. They look like they're either new or have barely been worn. So really good condition. Crocs seem to sell pretty well for me, around 20 bucks. So I wanted to get those. Um, this is a brand I never heard of before. Oh, I'm like so tired, I'm leaning back against this thing. So I'm just gonna move this closer so I can stay leaning back. Okay, it's M, let me peel this off so we can see it better. M, Jemmy. Okay, so you can see it there. Um, I looked up comps and they looked pretty decent and these look to be in super good condition. So they're a cute black glitter flat shoe and it does say made in Italy on the bottom and they're a size 37. So I have never found this brand before. Let me know if you have and how it's done for you. But those are so pretty. And I got another pair too, but I don't see them right off the top of my head. There's the other shoe. And then here's more Crocs and these ones are a size 10. And these are just a nice black, like a little bit of a wedge. These also have either never been worn or very little, really good condition. I will probably just use some um, Goo Gone to get rid of that silver marker. That'll come off really easily. Okay, um, let's just keep going here. These were in the maternity section, but they are not maternity. They're actually anthropology 11 C's. And they are a nice pair of comfy pants. They're a size small. So they've got this really nice stretchy waistband. They're just like a loose wide leg chambray pants. They're really wrinkly, so I'll have to steam them. But um, yeah, I thought those would be good for like summertime. I actually just switched out my steamers. I got a little handheld one. I had this big shark one from Walmart and it was starting to like leak water every time at the top and it was burning me and leaving water over the clothes. And I'm like, oh my gosh. I don't know what's going on. So I just got a little one. And I also am switching up my lighting situation. I'm like changing everything. Um, I had two big box lights, but I'm just gonna get a ring light from Amazon because those box lights take up so much room. And honestly, I use the photo room app all the time anyway to um, completely whiten out my pictures. So I just need like a decent amount of light for my basement. So I am getting rid of those. I'm gonna have to sell them, figure out what I wanna do with those. Okay, this is Lucky Brand Swimwear, which I don't hardly find very much. And this says D in the top, so I'm assuming that's like a D cup. Um, it's a bikini, so this is the top. It's like blue tie-dye, 
pretty cute. And this is the bottoms and these are a size large. So these are cute too. Speaking of swimsuits at the pool, I wish some people would look in the mirror before they leave their house. And this is not me being a jerk, but like figure out your body type and then dress for it. Blech. You see so much stuff you don't wanna see. This is Lulu's size medium. This is new with tags. Here's the tag. And this was only $3.98. It's a maroon floral, like long wrap dress. And so it's like, it's really long. I think it's like shorter. Like how it goes, it would go like above your knee and the rest of it's kind of more like sheer that wraps around, if that makes sense. It's super long, it's hard to hold up. That's awesome, new with tags. Um, this is another new with tag item. This is Banana Republic High Rise Straight and they are a size 32, which is great. So they got this cute like red and white stripe on the side and one kind of ripped out knee, the raw hem. I really like these. I'll look up the stock picture. I don't hardly ever get Banana Republic, but I did make an exception with this being new with tags, being a bigger size and the style. I think that made it all worth it. Let me kind of like put these in as I'm doing it. Okay. This is for my brother. This is a new Columbia PFG shirt and this was the 98 cent color sale. I've actually seen this at the store the past few weeks, but it was priced $14.98. I'm honestly surprised somebody didn't get it at half off, but they didn't. So I'm giving this to him. I'm going to see him Thursday. I've got a whole bag of men's stuff to give him. So that'll be good. I also got these for him. These are Under Armour size 36. Just a nice pair of like khaki cargo golf type shorts. So that's a good time to be selling like Under Armour Nike golf shorts. This, okay, this is Old Navy new with tags. It was only $2.98 and it was size 1X. So I thought I would still try it because I think I can still get like 20 bucks for it. I thought it was really pretty. And like I said, I like never get Old Navy, but sometimes you make exceptions, you know. So it's kind of like a knee length, pretty, pretty dress. So I got that. And this is also for my brother. This is a Harley Davidson 3X orange short sleeve button up shirt. So Harley um, does pretty good. I don't get all of the t-shirts, but like things like this, especially in the bigger sizes, I definitely pick up. How was your guys' sales this weekend? Memorial Day weekend? Mine were like crazy, which I'm glad because they have been so stupidly slow lately, but it was like, oh my gosh, especially Poshmark. I made so many sales, so. Make sure you subscribe so you can see my video on Friday to see what I sold. Okay, here's this brand again, this M Jemmy brand. And these ones like are a like maroon, dark red, glittery. It's the same exact style. So I'll have to look it up. But these again are either new or barely worn, as you can see in the bottom. Same size and everything. They're so pretty. I could just tell like I, when I just looked at them that it was quality. And then I was like, hmm. Made in Italy, that's always a good sign to look something up. Um, I also got these Harley boots. These are a brown leather slouchy harness boot. And these I paid $20 for. I did have someone on Instagram say that was too much, but I looked up comps and this exact pair sold for $75 on Poshmark. So $20 into 75 is not too much for me to spend. They're a size seven. I mean, sometimes I'll pick something up and make $20 profit on it, even if I pay up and I'm like, okay with it, especially if I know it's gonna bring lots of traffic to my closet, like a really desirable brand, or if it's gonna sell really fast, I don't care paying up to make 20, 25 bucks. Like, that just makes sense to me. So, okay, those are done. Let's do all these little bags first. These are a pair of American Eagle jeans. These are the high rise jeggings, and these are four extra long. And these I'm gonna see if my daughter wants. Now I know she wears size four long, but I don't know about extra long. So I'm gonna have to see if these are too long for her. If they're not, I will sell them because they are the newer font and extra long is always like good to be getting. Tall sizes, things like that. Um, these are Lafayette 148. 
I've never really seen the um, style name on them before, Thompson, so I'm wondering if they're newer. They're a black pair of jeans, size 10. They look to be like high-rise street legs, so I'm going to look up comps before I decide if I want to sell them myself because I send a lot of Lafayette 148 to the real real. I don't make a ton off of them, but I can usually like triple my money or quadruple my money or so without having to do any work. So I'm going to look these up before I send them to them to see if they're worth it to sell myself. Otherwise, I will probably send them off. These are Can Can, which I really like picking up for jeans, but these ones like are a faux leather pants and they're a size 11, 29. Um, they always have the style name right on here. These tags look super crisp, so I'm assuming these are barely worn or never worn. So they're kind of like a black faux leather zipper ankle pant. And let's see what these are. These are a pair of Duluth Trading Company and they're 12 by 31 and 31 is a long inseam. So I definitely wanted to get these. People are hiking and doing lots of outdoor stuff right now and I've sold a couple of Duluth things fairly quickly. And I just thought with a little bit bigger size and longer inseam that these would be worth a try. And then this is a New Romantics Free People top size small. I actually never found New Romantics, even though it's not like super exciting, but it's just got this pretty like gold sequins up here. I probably am only gonna sell this for 20 bucks or so, but I thought I would try it. Okay, another little bag done. Let me get this stuff back in here. Okay, one more little bag. And then maybe I'll do consignment store stuff. This is a skirt. This is Athleta size small. And it's like a grayish blue space dye drawstring skirt. That should sell for around 20 bucks or so. This is a Lululemon shirt. So the logo is back here. I was actually just flipping through the racks really fast. And so just by the front of this, it didn't really look like anything, but I kind of could see like through here, I could see it. And so I went back to it. Um, it looks to be a bigger size, like a 10 or a 12. So I don't know for sure. Maybe I'll try this on. I think I've worn a little bit of Lululemon before I sold it, but I've never like, I don't have anything currently. So hmm. I'm going to keep this back here to try on for myself. One time I got a pair of leggings and I liked them, but I think they were like a tad too big. I don't know. I just couldn't, they didn't fit me comfortably enough. So I sold them. This is Athleta size small. It's just a gray, like short sleeve shirt, which will probably sell for 15 or 20. I don't know, it kind of has this like interesting gathering on the sides and then like up here in the shoulder. I'll have to look for a stock picture for that. This is a soft surroundings. This is size petite large and it's a nice like green V-neck top with these pretty lace sleeves. So that will probably be about 20 or 25. This is a Torrid size two, floral, like three quarter sleeve wrap style top. And then I got this Free People. This is a size large. I think it has a small spot on it, but I figured since it's all white, I should be able to get it out. But I was like, oh, this is perfect for like summertime. It could be like off the shoulder possibly, or just like a loose fit, really nice like balloon sleeves. So that's cute. And then this was the 98 cent color tag and it's a J Crew size 10. So I am sending this to thread up. I'm trying to just kind of have like a big box in my like inventory area and just get it filled up and then just send the thread up. Um, if you watch any of my other ones, I'm not paying for expedited shipping anymore and I'm not paying for return assurance. So I'm just trying it out to see because when I would do both of those, that would take $27 out of my um, profit just for that one kit. So I'm gonna try to do that and see how that works. I'll let you guys know. Right now I have three boxes that have been delivered there, but of course it takes a long time to be processed. Oh, there's a ghosty cat. Sneaking out because Ellie over here is being very good and quiet. We actually have a friend over and our dog Ellie is very protective. Like. I'm like, good if um, somebody tried to break into our house, but bad when we have friends over. Like, my kid has a friend over, and um, she's crazy. She tried to, like, she didn't, like, try to bite him, like, to kill him, but she, like, was nipping his shorts a ton. I'm like, oh, my gosh. Okay, these um, next three things are from a consignment store I went to this morning. This is an anthropology sanctuary, like, 
whatever collab, I guess you could say. It's a size 30. And they're a pair of pants. They retail for $119. And they're like a black and white gingham tie front wide leg pants. These are so cute. I think they look like they're a crop or a little bit ankle style. So I'll look up comps on those. This is a Lululemon skirt, black, which is also basic black's always good. I don't exactly remember the name of this, but it also has the pull tag and it's a size 10, which is a bigger size. So yes, I think that's gonna sell really quick. This is a cabbie. It's an extra small, I believe. Yes, and it's like a cute um, knit sweater. It's fitted. I know it's not sweater season, but I am willing to hang on to that until it sells. Here's another sweater, but actually I just sold a bundle of this same brand with Barefoot Dreams. So people were still buying sweaters. Um, this is extra small and this one is like a hoodie, which I don't hardly ever see. I usually see the open cardigan. So it's of course very soft, really cute style. And it has a tie down here. Okay, this is new with tags, free people. And it retailed for $88. This is a size small and it's just a black and white striped mini dress. It's kind of like a half sleeve and then it has this open back. So that's really cute for like summertime. This is a brand I actually don't know about. It's SOH. It's a size large. I was kind of in a rush because I was actually doing this shopping this morning before we were going to the pool and it was on the clearance rack for only five dollars it's a silk and cashmere blend so i'm like you know what i'm just gonna risk it because this fabric and feels really nice so if you know anything about soh let me know and then i think this brand i kind of took a risk on too it was really cheap also this is joseph and this is 100 percent cashmere it's like a tan space dye cashmere thin sweater so yeah both of those they felt super nice i mean i only paid five dollars for them i'm probably gonna get my money back I mean, I know I'm gonna get my money back. So I just, it'd just be exciting if they were like worth a ton. Okay, this is Tory Burch size four. It's this really cute blazer. It's striped, it has these like buttons um, up here on the top and it looks like a two button blazer down here. Let me see what the fabric content is. It looks like it's a cotton elastane blend. So this is super pretty. I'm gonna have to find the style for this and see how much it goes for, but I definitely wanted to get that. And that was the last thing from the consignment store. So now let's move on to the Goodwill. Okay, this is a speaker I got. And I actually, I don't know if we're going to like keep it as a family or sell it. I don't know if it's worth anything, but it's like this JBL brand. Which I think I have a speaker like this, but it says Pro Sound in Motion, engineered for marine environment. So I don't know. I'm going to look it up and see if it's worth me to resell. Otherwise, maybe we'll keep it. Six and a half inch marine grade coke seal speaker. Water and UV resistant. So, I don't know. Interesting. It was out on a new, um, like, cart that came out. Here's a receipt. Okay, let's get into this. The store was good. I got a lot of good shoes. Uh, this is new with tags Torrid 1X. This retails for $64.90. And it's a really pretty polka dot wrap style dress. It looks like it's probably knee length. So that's pretty. And I think they only have that price at $7.99. Like, yes, great price. This was the normal $3.59. This is Kate Spade. Um, Kate Spade clothing doesn't sell a ton for me. Like I just sold a t-shirt for $15, but I still almost always get it if it's in good condition. But this one's really pretty. It's a size six. I'll be interested to see the comps on this especially with the season we're in right now. I feel like it's just a really perfect time and has a exposed zipper down the back. So that was exciting. This is another new attack toward and this retailed for $64.90. This is a 2X and it's a red and black blazer. So yeah, that's good. Nice. This is an Eileen Fisher 2X. Nice thin lightweight short sleeve top. It's got kind of a little panel down there. Let me see the fabric. It's 100% silk. So I really like selling Eileen Fisher, especially plus size, especially silk and linen. So I don't know what I'm going to price that at, but I'm hoping to get like at least $40. Would be great. 
This is Harley Davidson and it's a size extra large. It's a long sleeve, like blue. It has the pearl snaps up here. And then it's got like a big, like kind of graphic picture on the back. So my Harley stuff always seems to sell pretty quick. Okay, jeans. These are cut from the cloth, but I've never seen it where it just says that at the top. So I'm wondering if it's a newer label. Let me know if you know. They're a size 14. And so it actually has the style here on this part. It's the Fab Ab High Rise Baby Boot Cut Jeans. They're very stretchy. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to sell these myself. I don't normally get this brand. It actually does really well for me in thread up, but I sold a pair recently of a, like a high rise skinny in like a bigger size and they did well. So I'm going to try these because they also seem like they're like new condition. Um, this is a pair of 710 super skinny Levi's size 27. Nice uh, distressed skinny jeans. Levi's have been selling really good for me lately. I always look for the ones that have this little like label up here so that you know that they're newer. And a lot of high rise or skinny ones, it seems to be doing best for me. Like 20, 25 bucks, but like consistently they're selling and fairly quickly. This is pink Victoria's Secret size small. So I don't always get this, but this just felt a little more quality than some of the other ones. And it's a nice gray, like quarter zip jacket. And it has pink spell out on the side down there. So I did get that. This is a bra. This is Kessik, size 38G. Um, I don't know if you can't see what that looks like. So anyway, yeah, I almost always pick up that brand for bras. This is a Pont Tunic J. Jill, which I don't hardly ever get. I actually just watched NCI Resale's video and he talked about picking up J. Jill. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try this because it's a size large tall. So I like the tall sizes. If I have it for a while and it doesn't sell, I'll send it into thread up. But I was like, you know what? I'm just going to try it and see how it goes. This is a bra from Victoria's Secret. This one is a size 34C and it's the Dream Angels push-up bra. So it's kind of like a mauve lace, pretty bra. This is a Lululemon tank. I think this is the Power Y. I believe the logo is right up here. Um, yeah, nice bright fluorescent yellow. I'll probably sell this for 20 bucks or so. It looks like it has the inserts and I'm trying to find a size really quick if I can, but I don't know if I can. So if you're interested, just let me know. <laughs> like it's in there somewhere, I'm sure. But this looks really like brand new or never worn. Um, these are a pair of sweatpants. They're Nike, medium, they're gray. I don't know if they're men's or women's. So I'm going to have to look up the style number, but they've got that on the leg. So I like those in their jogger style, which does good for me. These are Adidas originals, size small. I'm going to see if my daughter wants these. I don't know if they're men's or women's. Actually, let me feel the pocket. Okay, it's short. So I think they're women's. So I'm going to see if she wants these. I really like them. The problem with me is I can pretty much never get these pants because they're never long enough for me. Sometimes I can kind of get men's, but then it's like, they don't fit quite the same. Tall people problems. Okay, this is an anthropology brand. How do you say this? Hey, hey, hi, hi. I don't know, but it's a really pretty green embroidered jacket. So this is one side of it. Here's the other side. And then it also has it on the back. I'm like, okay, that's really nice. And it's a size large. So I didn't look up comps for that piece, but I'm just assuming gonna be good worth me to pick up okay let's go to this last bag so these next shoes actually they bring out they were bringing out lots of new stuff oh my gosh I just noticed they were new holy crap okay so they were bringing out lots of new stuff and so I always look and try to go over there right when they do and I saw I could just see this on the bottom I'm like oh heck yes so first of all I was like oh this would be a great Instagram picture so I hurry up get a picture and then I get them out and they were only $7.99, but look what happened when I got home. I just realized they were new with tags, which is nuts for $7.99 Sorrells. Like you gotta be kidding me, oh my gosh. Let me see what size they are. They're eight and a half. This is gonna be really good, I think. They're like a wedge, leather, suede. 
I love these. Okay, that's exciting. Holy crap. New with Tag Sorrells. These were in the same cart. These came out. These are Tom's. These are a brown suede wedge boot, and these are a size nine. So I will still get the Tom's like boots. I don't hardly ever pick up the flats anymore. There's the other one. I got lots of shoes this trip. This is a brand called Laid Back London, and I looked it up and comps looked pretty good, but I didn't quite do too much research yet. These were also with the Sorrells and the Tom's. So let me know if you know anything about this brand. These are a size 39, and I think maybe this is the style name of them. It says Setsu in there. These also look like they're new or like never worn. I'm assuming all three of those were the same owner. So that's exciting. Here's my other Sorel boot. Oh my gosh, I can't believe those were new with tags. That's nuts. Um, I got these pair of Uggs. They weren't too expensive and I'm gonna clean them up, but I really liked all this floral embroidery on them. So I have like a Ugg cleaning kit. So I'm gonna do that on those to make those nice again. I also got these men's, I think they're men's like cowboy boots. They're a brand called Stuart. It's hard to see. Stuart McGuire, I think. And they're a size 7D, but I saw some on eBay selling for like 50 or $75. So I'm like, I'll try them. And then I got this new Steve Madden like reptile fanny pack. I don't know how this is going to do, but it only cost me like what? Four bucks. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to try it. It kind of has like a chain plus leather. I don't know. Fake leather maybe. Let me see what the tag says. Okay. So it's not real leather. But I don't know. I was like, new with tags in that print. I think that'll be good. And then these last pair of boots I got, these are a brand called Wolverine 1000 Mile by Samantha Pleat. Have you guys ever heard of this? They looked like quality. I looked them up. Comps looks really good. These also look to be fairly worn or new. They are a size, I don't know. <laughs> they look like the same size as the other ones. These ones didn't come out in the cart with all of those, but um, they were on the clothing rack. Okay, I'll have to search for a little bit around for the size, but I don't know. Anyway, those are super nice. So lots of really good shoes. For sure. Let's get into the rest of these clothes. This is a Garnet Hill dress and this is size medium. There was actually a few Garnet Hill dresses, but I passed on the other ones just due to style and wear. But I really like this pretty rose, like floral wrap one. I think it has pockets. Yeah, I might wear this to church one day, but I don't know. My church is like an ice box and we made the mistake of sitting in the front row last week, actually kind of because we were late. And I was like all that was left unless we wanted to sit in the side room and I froze my butt off even wearing like pants and a sweater, but I get cold really easy. Okay, this is Wilfred Free size large. This is a blue like front cutout short mini dress. I don't hardly ever find this brand. So that was exciting. And the fabric content is rayon poly spandex. So nice little stretchy dress. No clue what that's gonna sell for. We'll have to look it up. Um, this is another brand that I saw in Nick's video the other day. Oh my gauze. I think he was talking a lot about lag and look stuff, which is kind of what this seems to be. It says it's a size two. No clue what that means. I'm going to have to look it up for this brand, but I've never found it before. It's just like a nice oversized like tunic. This was right by that Eileen Fisher 2X top. So I think that's going to be good. Um, this possibly I might've heard from Jack and Ryan's channel recently. Oh my gosh, it's like a three-piece set here. Let me if I if I can find one of the tags. Holy crap, it's like a nightgown kind of thing. Oh, okay, that's weird. Okay, here we go. Flora by Flora Nickruz. Did they talk about this recently or not? I don't know. So it's like a robe, and but then it's also like a tank top, and then also like, sh wait, I thought it was like a robe, tank top, and shorts. Yeah, shorts. So I think, I don't know, some people had it as anthro on Poshmark, but I don't know for sure. So let me know if you know. These are a pair of Fabletics leggings. These, I'm so glad they still have the tag in them. They're a size medium and they're just a nice purple, like maroonish 
legging. There's the label right there. They're high rise, it looks like, full length, 20 bucks, easy. And then my last thing was this pair of American Eagle jeans. These are a size four regular. Also gonna see if my daughter wants these. She likes black jeans. Um, otherwise I'll sell them myself. No distressing or anything, just solid. So that's my haul. Thank you for being patient and understanding about not getting out a video on Friday. Um, I should have one this Friday and my sales this weekend were crazy amazing. So you'll wanna stick around, hoping to get a lot of this stuff listed over the next couple of days. I don't have really any death pile. I have nothing downstairs to list except for a few things in my rack. So I'll be getting pictures of a lot of this stuff over the next couple of days. So let me know how your guys' sales were this past weekend, what you're finding this week, anything else you want to chat about. I'll connect with you down in the comments and I'll see you next time, guys. Bye. Oh, wait, I forgot to say, if you like this video, please push the thumbs up for me. Hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell next to it. That way you can be notified every time I put out a new video. I almost forgot that. Okay, bye.